Hello everybody and welcome back to Xenonauts Community Patch Edition. We left off last episode with a stunning performance in a really hairy battle where our our squatty Lady Magnus, uh, my, my beautiful wife, managed to solo clear the enemy Corvette in one turn with nothing but a pistol and a baton and whip the fuck out of an alien officer, capturing him for the good of humanity. It was glorious. It was it was it was it was stunning to watch. That could have been a really hideous, hideous breach and clear with an alien officer in there, and the the fact that we had the Reapers running around, but they weren't too bad. I mean, we had that that foobar with the trying to capture a Reaper, but I guess we'll just have to let Lady Magnus whip the fuck out of him. Oh, oh thank Christ! We have this is our first upgrade for weapons. We haven't even upgraded our weapons yet. Okay, laser weaponry. Infantry laser weapons previously existed only in the realms of science fiction. Any laser powerful enough to be a viable combat weapon would need the battery the size of a truck, the word impractical being an understatement. The arrival of alien technology has changed all of this. The enormous energy content of an Millennium Crystal allows a battery no larger than a standard ammunition magazine to generate up to a dozen laser beams, each capable of burning through an inch of steel. Superconducting ceramics can be used to cool the weapon, storing the uh, waste heat, from each shot and dissipating it slowly enough to avoid injury provided one is careful where they place their hands. This eliminates the need for bulky refrigeration units, reducing the size and weight of the weapon significantly. In order to minimize the adjustment time for our troops, our laser weapons have been designated to operate like conventional firearms and have similar ranges and accuracy to the predecessors. There are some notable differences, most obviously the improved damage thermal shock weapons inflict upon their targets. Less favorably, a laser weapon will have roughly half the ammunition cap capacity of a ballistic weapon. In order to streamline the process, we have designated a single standardized battery for all of our laser weapons. The des design is not complex, a cylindrical steel jacket that uh, contains an aluminum crystal and locks into the weapon with a simple twist. These power cells are trivial to manufacture compared to the weapons themselves, so are available in effectively unlimited quantities. Be aware that manufacturing these weapons consumes a large amount of alien alloys and is both expensive and time-consuming, but I still believe they represent a good inv uh, investment despite this. At the very least, some new toys may raise morale against them. Uh, with the man. Okay. Um, yeah, and I'm going to do heavy laser weaponry as well. <laughs> nice. Okay, so... We are not building anything right now. No, we are not. So I'm going to start building some of these things. We're gonna start with two pistols. We're gonna, then we're gonna do two carbines. I'm going to do four laser rifles and one precision laser for now. And I, I, I usually start with the pistols because they're they're, they're cheap, easy to uh, to use, and they can be very effective in, you know, in terms of medic in ter you know, into a very powerful combat unit. Close range, of course. All right, and... Oh, God, the Reapers. I hate the Reapers. That was a bad business with the Hawkins commander. I'm certain she was intending to breach the quarantine seals on the case and subject we have had under study. Thankfully, she opened the Reaper larvae... Mm. Uh, maturation pod instead. The silver lining on this cloud is that we've been able to closely study the effects of Reaper larva metamorphosis on humans. Pursuant to your request on more information about the Reapers, I have drawn together what we know about their class structure and appended that data, what data we have on Reaper zombies as well. The Alpha Reaper. As if the standard Reaper weren't bad enough, we have identified certain Reaper who are faster, stronger, more resilient to their uh, than their common brother. And these Alpha Reapers are relatively few in number, but they are just as uh, fecund as the... Okay, I am unfamiliar with that word. Hang on a sec. Siri, what does the word fecund mean? Nope, she didn't find that. That is indeed a word. The ability to produce an abundance of offspring or new growth. Fertility. Well, the more you know... 
Left unchecked, they can reduce cities to gibbering zombie hordes in short order. The Alpha Reaper is uh, in, uh, identifiable by its lighter hue. Ah, wait. Lighter hue. It looks darker on the picture. The zombie represents a hunchback waxwork that's been stood too close to the fire. Facial features run together and limbs become elongated, muscle-bound, and misshapen. The hunch from which the rapidly maturing reaper will burst from is lined with blotchy veins. In this state, zombies can do a little more than swing their limbs while screaming in pain and rage. Don't do a don't let a zombie get too close. The host death triggers a hyper accelerated burst of growth in the larva, and you don't want to burst scream. Um, and you don't want the burst scream of a new reaper to chime with the death rattle of your soldiers. Ugh. Alpha zombies, alpha zombies are superficially the same shape. The process which to create the alpha supercharge the zombie. Their shape are more capable of bearing the extra load of the alpha uh, of an alpha, and as a consequence, they are faster, stronger, more resilient. Be careful if your own troops are infected, Commander. While they don't have the brains to use their weapons, they still wear the tattered remains of their armor and will provide more protection than the torn clothing that graces civilian zombies. That I did not know. And we have a reaper. Oh, okay, this is the proper actual reaper autopsy. The Reaper is a six-foot-tall insectoid nightmare with chitin blade strong enough to pierce steel and particularly horrific method of repro reproduction. It is a biological weapon of mass destruction, a monster that spreads death and terror in equal measure. Each Reaper is a parasitic creature that reproduces through implanting larvae inside other living organisms. These larvae secrete a chemical that disrupts the nervous system of the victim, leaving them shambling around in a state of damned half-life while the larvae gestates rapidly inside their body and metabolize it from within. Within a couple of minutes, a fully developed reaper will burst free from the remains of its host and head off in search of fresh victims, an implausibly short gestation period to occur naturally, so presumably, so presumably alien technology has been used to accelerate in some manner. In any case, its ability is highly troubling. The unfortunate host is likely to find the process unpleasant and extreme, and it uh, potentially allows these creatures to multiply quickly on the battlefield. They are well adapted to the role of finding and infecting their victim, victims, possessing well-developed sensory organs, the ability to move across the battlefield with inhuman speed. Wiry and extremely strong, the beasts can easily generate enough force to penetrate personal armor with the large blades protruding from their shoulders. These blades are actually hollow, containing a muscular tube that houses the larvae and a neurotoxin fluid to be injected into the victim once the blades have torn an opening into their flesh. A single attack is all that is required to reduce the victim to a hideous zombie, whatever personal armor they be wearing. Despite this, these primal beasts have obvious weaknesses. A lack of ranged weaponry and the relative fragility of the chitin plates leaves them vulnerable if uh, caught in open or sighted at a distance. They also possess only rudimentary swarm intelligence, making them fearless and difficult to suppress, but incapable of advanced taxes, tactics. This is truer still of the zombified host, which apparently simply lumber towards the nearest target and attempt to club them to death with their swollen fists. Okay, so let's hope that we can get some laser weaponry into the hands of some of our Xenodoodles before our next mission. I mean, uh, we're doing okay. So I can... I could transfer another one of these over to even things out. Nah, I think I'm going to keep it like this. Sending the fox trots out in two so far has been effective. So if we have two here and four here... Should be fine. So yeah, these mediums. We do two. That's enough to take them out. Return to base. Oh, we've got a medium with two escorts. Huh. What do we want to do about that? We could try to shoot down the escorts with some condors. That's our first. That's our first escorted one. Um, have we actually? I don't think we've produced any items yet. No, we produced one pistol. Do I? Mm, I mean, we could just uh, unassign 
you. And then Bo can come back in. And we can do another mission. Uh, yeah, let's let's get Bo back in it. Let's get Bo back in. We have um, I think I think after after that showing, Lady Magnus deserves the laser pistol. Deserves it. It's the only it's the only weapon with the only laser weapon we have, but she deserves it. I also think. Um, I want to. I, I need more. I needed more. Well, you know, I say I need more stun grenades, but I did use like five of them early in the mission or something like that. I used a bunch. Let's see, Bo, you don't really have a, a role. Like Hobart carries extra, or or or, because we we wanted one of these and didn't have it. We didn't have any C4 last time, so we can bring a C4 and, uh, and like, an extra grenade. Mired in the medic. He's carrying around extra. Do we want to... We, we always have the medic carry around a whooping stick as well. I think that's under equipment. Other... Yeah, there we go. There we go. The medic can have a whooping stick. That makes perfect sense. Colonist, you're good. Um, I'm going to ditch this, though. And I'm going to bring this. Well, I want more. I'm, br I'm bringing them. Lady Magnus is good to go. Though I'm going to replace the smoke grenade with a stun grenade. You're fine. Harper is good. Benjamin is good. And Bo, you don't have a roll. What we could do... We don't have a rocketeer. Bo, you want to be a rocketeer? Can you wear jackal armor? You most certainly fucking can. Alrighty then. And... Boom. That's just fine. We're, we're over. Bo? Well, Lieutenant Bo, you are officially the rocketeer. Which is one of my favorite movies. Okay, everybody's, everybody's good to go. Um, sun's up. Intercept. Charlie won. Go get him. We're gonna have to deal with this. Does that thing look like it's coming straight fucking for us? This thing scares the hell out of me. We could try intercepting it with the, the Foxtrots and just running, launching our missiles and running away. Oh, but we're at, we have our mission to do, so. Okay, this is a very interesting looking map. Apparently we have some water to deal with. Ah ha ha, and we have a delightful Lady Magnus here to run up and start shooting people with our laser pistol. <laughs> uh, let's see, normal. Can we get over here? We can. Crouch. Crouch? We can't? Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Here, we, we could just, uh... We could just shoot that guy in the face. That's what we can do. Okay, could be worse. Uh, I like this corner covered as well. So, get down. Uh, let's see, machine gunner over here, covering the side. A bow. You want to hang out back here? My cat is jumping on my foot because he wants me to feed him. Medic, right there. Sniper, you're going to hang out back here too because I don't have much for you to do just yet. Down, get out the shotgun, pop over this way for me. Everybody get down. Oh god. Oh, we, oh god. La Lady Magnus just got fucked up. Oh god, that sucked. Uh, so we lost the shield, and she got shot a bunch. That's that's a bad start. Well, that guy's dead. Oh, suppre suppressed ourselves, though. Um, Hobart, you want to do me a favor and shoot this guy right in the fucking face? 
<laughs> Idiot. Where's the medic? Medic! Yeah, Lady Magnus is down to th half health already. That's unfortunate. Okay, I hear aliens getting shot. I'm liking those noises. All right, so shotgunner is gonna have to pair up with the with Harper here. The remainder on the uh, the shield units. We're gonna have to start moving everybody else up a little bit. Poor Lady Magnus. Can I don't think we can heal you anymore. No. She's still got that pistol, but. See anything in there. Well, when you hear aliens dying, that's always a good thing. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Machine gunner, that's a little safe spot right there. Nothing down there, it doesn't look like. Just the rest of this building. And oh, this is a drop-off, is what it is. I thought that was like a wall up. No, it's a drop off that goes down. And I might not have much for Bo to do for a while, but he's got he's got a fucking RPG now. So just clear this building real quick. I hear no more alien screams, so that means whoever was shooting them is done. Alright, that's clear. It's just a civilian. I didn't see anything down here. Can't see anything in there. Uh, yeah, that's a good spot right there. Just, you know, watch the edge. run this guy over to this side here. There's a cop there. That's good. A little bit of assistance. Sniper. Rocketeer. Oh, I left a rifleman behind. Uh, colonist, I left you behind. Oh, well, join the join the party, friend. Maybe, maybe you join the party safely. Oh, I saw an alien. Over here. Down the flank. Oh, I'm stuck in the corner. There we go. No, not here. It was more like down this way. There he is. Motherfucker, I missed. Suppressed. That's better than nothing. Um, that's bad. He's suppressed, which means he's not going to be able to do much. Here, Magnus, can you run down here? Shit! There's another one. I just want him to know. Uh, not all the way down. You just need to be like there. Maybe you might. Maybe you can get a shot now. Everybody's in the way. Uh, okay. Forty-five to fire a rocket. Not ideal. Can I can I thread it down this way? Blow it up from that side. <laughs> no, it's not ideal. But he's suppressed at least. And what the fuck is this? Okay, we have a black hole of doom. Yeah, I was it. He was we 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 managed to suppress him, which means he only got one shit shot. So, not the end of the world. And if we're lucky, one of these will be able will be able to do something like that. 
I don't know. We, we, it might be, might not matter at this point. The shooting part. Yeah, well, the grenade doesn't matter, but that's okay. okay let's uh, cover this door here. Oh, no, oh, stop, 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 stop. Door's open, that scares me. Let's get up, up to this, let's get someone up to this corner here. There's, there's a baddie out here. We know there's a baddie out there. Lady Magnus, you want to just run around? Yeah, that's fine. Bow, pier. There's not a lot of good cover is the problem, so I'm not moving my people too, too aggressively just yet. These buildings suck. Urban combat, you're a bitch. Well, I just, no, I incinerated his carcass. All right, so there's somebody inside, alien or human? You decide. He was using the restroom. Human. It was a human. He was just taking a poop. All right, let's get these guys in here. God, I haven't even found the enemy spaceship yet. I know I saw another casing down here somewhere. Down in this region. Oh, we got a we got a little wubby thing. Ooh. Run. <laughs> um Might see the case in if I do this. Oh. Am I out of its explosive radius? Yes. I think you have to be like adjacent for that to happen. Okay, okay, that could have been worse. Nobody in here. Where'd that fucking case and go? Don't see him. Should be careful with Lady Magnus. She's a little low on health. We got another another busted thingy here. Oh, I see some damage, so the alien spaceship's gotta be down that way. Whoa! What the fuck? Is there someone right here? That son of a whore! Fuck you! Holy crap! Ah! Uh, oh my god! Uh, is this the medic? That's the medic. Ben, Ben, run! Run to the medic! Ow! 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 <sighs> well, I found the fucking casing. That guy was a sneaky son of a bitch. There's no cover down this way. Any weapons? I guess you're staying there for now. Shields, you're coming up. But well, we gotta go this way. It's the only way. It's the only way out from here. Um, where'd Bo go? Poor Bo. Hasn't gotten a chance to do anything yet. Well, he went. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's not ideal. That is not ideal at all. Nope. This is a very weird map. A very weird map. I have not seen this one before, and it is very interesting and very strange. Well, Bo's definitely gonna get some, uh, get to have some fun when it comes time to breaching and clearing this thing. Colonists, medic, 
And poor Magnus, you are not going into that enemy ship. If anything, we'll just drop your grenades and you can follow everybody around. So, like, we could start off with a with a little with a little bloop here. I just kind of well, you know what? On, on the other hand, that cover is really useful. <laughs> This cover is really useful. <laughs> For like the machine gunner to get up in there. All right, Lady Magnus is back here. Medic. Colonus is just fine. Bo, you'll get used. I swear to God, you'll get used. What are, the, what are these? Maybe we'll, we'll machine gun down the door. Maybe we'll machine gun down the door. Uh, where's my machine gunner? And then, and then just jam a rocket down his face. <laughs> I mean, it could work, although it's super dangerous. Or we just do this. Okay, so I prefer to shoot it down. What? Then if you don't fail me again. There you go. They're playing they're playing hard to get here. They're playing hard to get. Well, I guess it's uh breach and breach time then. Start getting people prepped here. Moving moving everybody up. Get the medic in close. See a bunch of carcasses. Carcasses is always good. Let's get down. There's a, there's a good amount of smoke in here. That's good. Or heard a, uh, I heard a, or a door, but it was like a regular door. Check the corners. Clear. Okay. There's gotta be one over here. Check the corners. Enemy spotted. Let's just wait here for him. Um, dude with the machine gun. Get ready. Oh my god, that fucking hurt. Asshole. There he is. He's dead now. <laughs> okay. All right, so Magnus took some pretty good hits there from the sneaky corner guy. Lady Magnus took the shot right at the beginning, but still survived and was promoted to major. And Harper got injured towards the end there, but he's still okay as well. Okay, guys, I think we're going to leave it at episode there. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you have been enjoying, and I will see you all next time.